Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the JPEG.store Cardano NFT Marketplace. This is one of the most popular marketplaces currently available for Cardano NFTs. It's got a very straightforward and user-friendly interface. In this video today, I'm going to show you a walk through an overview of this marketplace. I'm also going to show you the process of connecting your CC Vault or your NAMI wallet. And we're even going to go through the process of purchasing one of these Cardano NFTs. So if you all do find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you want to stay up to date with more Cardano related content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe and click that notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. So to jump right into it, we are taking a look at the jpeg.store marketplace. So it's jpg.store. I will be sure to leave a link for you all down in the description below. It's a very, very nicely laid out user interface. Uh, the home page, you've got the option to browse the marketplace. You can view collections. At the top, you've got a search bar. Uh, we've got, again, the ability to go to the marketplace. If you are a creator, this NFT marketplace is going to be for the NFT projects that are going to be part of a collection or a series. There are other great marketplaces, which I will be covering in future videos that are going to be more intended towards the single item style NFTs. Like, let's say if you just have a one of one NFT that you like to mint, there are other platforms which I would recommend for that. And the reason is because one of the really nice things about JPEG.store is that you can verify your collection. Um, I'm not going to go through that in this video today, but I will show you briefly what that looks like. Uh, we've also got the about, so we've got some more information about their team. We've got some frequently asked questions as well as links to their social. So let's go ahead and take a look at the marketplace. When we click on marketplace, as far as what we see here, we've got the ability to browse all the different NFTs that we have available for sale. Going back to that point I was mentioning about uh, a collection being verified, we can see here this blue check mark gives us the ability to see if a project has been verified. And essentially what that is is saying that the policy ID of this specific token does match the original policy ID, so you are getting the correct token. What we can do to browse this marketplace is we can search by collection. We can choose the Buy It Now feature. So this marketplace does use smart contracts, and we're going to take a look at that when we go through the process of purchasing one of these NFTs. We can categorize these different NFTs by searching price high to low, low to high. We can see recently listed NFTs. So this is a great marketplace that allows you to see some very useful information, such as the price in ADA. You've got the name of the NFT. If we click on one of these NFTs, it'll give us more information about the different attributes. Let's say if there's any metadata associated with this specific token. We've got the price history. Now this feature is coming soon. I think it's very useful to see, especially on the secondary market, what some of these previous prices were for this specific token. Uh, you've also got trading history. This is gonna be coming soon. So look out for those features. I think that this is a very uh, user-friendly interface to be able to see what exactly it is that you're purchasing. You can also verify the policy ID as well as the asset ID for yourself if you'd like to. But being that we do see here that this project is verified, look for that blue check mark and you should be good to go. So what I wanted to do now that we've taken a look and seen some of these NFTs, let's go ahead and browse a project that we like. So Lovelace Saga, that is our Kaizen NFTs. This is the project that we are building. It's an NFT game on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, super excited about this. The artwork came out fantastic. So a big thank you to Bajuski for the artwork. And uh, these NFTs are essentially going to be playable characters in the Lovelace Saga game. So this is a work in progress. This is what we are currently building right now. So you definitely don't want to miss the updates that we have coming for this. Make sure you hit that subscribe if you're interested in blockchain gaming, uh, play to earn, all that kind of good stuff. So lots more updates to come on that. So what I have here are the NFTs that we have for our Lovelace Saga game. This collection has been verified. It gives us some more information about the specific token project. We can see the ADA trading volume. You've also got the price floor, uh, which is the cheapest asset currently for sale on this marketplace. You've got the total number of unique wallets that currently hold one of these NFTs. So a very, very low uh, quantity of holders. So I think that should be something interesting we'll see once the game launches. I think a lot of people who are OG holders of these tokens are going to be um, really surprised with 
the value that and the utility that these NFTs are going to have. Uh, also, you've got the total amount of NFTs for this collection. So only 2,500 NFTs. Really incredible to think about how um, under the radar this project still is. So now let's say, for instance, what I wanted to do is sort by price low to high. So this is what we have here. This is the lowest price NFT that we have currently for sale. Um, and we've got some more amazing NFTs if we'd like to browse. Uh, for this video today, what I wanted to do is go through the process of connecting the wallet and purchasing one of these tokens. So in order to do that, now we see here what tokens we have available to purchase. Let's go through the process now of connecting our wallet. Now for this video today, I'm going to be using the CC Vault. So let's go ahead and click on that. I will show you also if you are going to be using NAMI, what that process looks like. But what we'll do here is just follow the prompts for CC Vault first. We'll do connect to site. Very easy. In order to be able to, and I've got the NFTs that I currently hold in my wallet. Very cool. In order to be able to use either CC Vault or NAMI, it is very important that you are using the browser extension. In this instance, my web browser is Google Chrome. I would simply go to the Chrome web store, type in the browser extension, which I like to add. Uh, in this case, you can do either CC Vault or NAMI. And what that looks like is if you click on the extensions tab, CC Vault, it's going to take you to your CC Vault wallet. I've got my Cardano tutorial wallet loaded. In order to interact with different dApps, whether it's marketplaces, DEXs, anything like that, we would need to enable a dApp account. So we have different accounts available in CC Vault. In this case, I've got several created simply for example purposes. Let's go to account, summary, and then where it says dApp account, all dApps will connect to this account. We would simply click on enable. So I've already done that for this wallet. And then we would also need to make sure we set collateral. So to do that, we'll go to settings, collateral. As we can see, I've already toggled this. What you'll need to do is sign a transaction. There's gonna be a small transaction fee. In this case, I've set about five ADA as collateral. That's the default amount. No problem, that should work just fine with interacting with smart contracts. So that's CC Vault. Let's take a look at NAMI. NAMI is going to be a very similar process when you go to connect to the jpeg.store marketplace. You would simply choose the NAMI option. And then if you have the extension already loaded, you would simply create a new wallet or restore using your 24 or 12 word seed phrase. And then to set collateral, you would click on your account profile and where it says collateral, and then the recommended collateral amount is five ADA. I don't have any ADA in this wallet. I'm simply just showing you where you would need to go if you were to use NAMI. You would do the same thing that you would with CC Vault. You would just type in your password, sign the transaction, and then you'd be able to start using NAMI to start interacting with different dApps. So let's go ahead and close that. That's essentially what the process is to get these wallets situated so you can start interacting with these smart contracts. But now that we've got that done, let's go back to the jpeg.store marketplace. We can see here I've got my CC Vault wallet connected. It shows us the NFTs which we hold in our wallet. It shows any that we would have for sale as well as any recent activity. So this would be anything like purchases, bids, anything like that. Now we were taking a look at some of the Lovelace Saga NFTs. So let's go back. We're going to search for it and we'll do Lovelace Saga. Again, sorting by price low to high. Um, and let's see, let's see. I really like this one right here. This is the Plutus Pioneer. This is Lars Brunjes. And um, some of these NFTs were meant to encompass the brilliance of some of these members of the Cardano community. Lars Brunjes, of course, being a Plutus Pioneer, truly. So we were really excited to put this piece together. I think it turned out great. And uh, of course, all these NFTs will be playable characters in the Lovelace Saga game. So now that we've selected the NFT which we would like to purchase, let's go ahead and click on Buy NFT. What we're going to be prompted with is to sign the transaction using our CC Vault wallet. I'll need to type in my spending password. After we've typed in our spending password, we can click on Sign. And this is going to take us back to the marketplace saying that your transaction is being processed. So this is going to create a transaction. It's going to submit it to the blockchain. We're just going to wait now for the transaction to be verified and for the NFT to be sent to our wallet. 
So it's taken a little bit of time, but we can see now that this pending transaction has been associated with our wallet. So as soon as this transaction gets verified by the blockchain, we will see this Plutus Pioneer NFT within our wallet. Now that we've purchased our NFT, I wanted to show you the process if you are a creator and if you wanted to go through and have your project verified or you're interested in using the jpeg.store marketplace to list your NFTs for sale. In order to do that, we would need to click on apply. Apply for Launchpad is a creator hub to be able to launch your NFT project for sale. So what they'll do is they're going to walk you through the process of getting verified, help you with the minting process, help you with mentoring. So this is really cool to see that they offer this type of service to any of these projects. You can fill out the application. There is a link here. It's pretty much a form that's going to tell them a little bit more information about your project. So if that's the case, if you do have a token project that you're interested in minting on the jpeg.store marketplace, you can use their launch pad and get more information of how you can get started. So let's go back. Now, let's say you've already minted your project and you want it to now be verified on the jpeg.store marketplace. To do that, you would simply go back to apply. You would click on verify your collection. It's going to take you to a new page. And then what it's going to do here is going to walk you through the process of the application. So you would simply click on apply for verification. It's going to take a little bit of time for the team to be able to verify the correct information, such as your policy ID, your website, your social links. Uh, but you just want to fill out all the information that's required here in the application. I went through that process for verifying the Kaizen NFTs, and it's pretty much just a Google form, right? So it'll give you some information here that it's requiring like a policy ID. Are you done minting? Minting date? How many items are you planning to mint? Website link, Twitter link. Again, this is going to be useful to any of the CNFT projects that have a collection there are other marketplaces which I would recommend for single item NFTs. Like let's say if you just have a single token that you'd like to mint, there are gonna be other marketplaces which I will be showing you information on in future videos. If you do want to stay updated for that type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe so that way you know exactly when I post that type of content. So we've gone through the process now of purchasing an NFT. We've also gone through to see if you are a creator, what are the ways to get started using the jpeg.store marketplace. Now let's go through the process of being able to list an NFT for sale. So what we are taking a look at, this is our Plutus Pioneer NFT. It took a little bit of time for the transaction to get validated, but now we can see this NFT within our wallet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on sell NFT. And what we can do is just walk through the process here of adding a price. Let's say if I wanted to put it for 100 ADA, the service fee is 2%. So a minimum transaction fee of one ADA is required by the Cardano network. So essentially it gives you a breakdown here after this NFT sells uh, and all the fees have been taken into account, you would end up with about 98 ADA. So we would send listing and then we're going to type in our spending password. Now I'm not necessarily going to do that in this case because I really wanna hang on to my NFT, uh, but that is pretty much gonna be the entire process. So you would just validate the transaction by typing in your spending password. Your NFT is going to be sent to the smart contract address for this listing. And then you'll see the NFT listed for sale when you go back to the marketplace. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and hopefully you did find some value from it. Be sure to share it around. I would really appreciate any feedback as well. If you do have any questions or comments for me, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. <music>